is today's financial tip from Lasco Financial Services. Always observe your surroundings when conducting financial transactions. Check to see if you are being watched and stay alert. All right, so bananas are way more versatile than just boiling them or peeling the ripe fruit as a healthy snack. Here with a few ideas, he's the president of the Jamaica Agricultural Society, Senator Norman Grant, an executive, executive chef. And here I am, I love Maisie you now. Maisie start from before we even come. Maisie is just a duality, which is why I'm here. Morning, Maisie. Good morning, Chief. How are you? <laughs> I'm very well. How are you? I am good, thank you. Still celebrating birthday. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> which, is, which is why I'm doing this interview. Oh, I want word. to celebrate Such with you. What are you to going see. to do? What have you done and what are you going to do? I'm doing a dish using up what we grow. So I'm using, making use of chicken and I'm using the chicken breast, but I'm using green bananas and I'm using carrots and cucumbers and beet and, and string beans and all the things that the farmer grows. So it's just going to be wonderful when you're done. I, um, I want you to be the judge. I shall. <laughs> um, Senator, it's what? Eat Jamaican Month? It's Eat Jamaican Month. And um, the 22nd is Eat Jamaica Day? No, the 25th is Eat Jamaican what? Day, but the exposition will is be on 22nd? the 22nd okay. at the Jamaica Forage Club's lawn, 95 um, Oak Road, yeah. Kingston 6. So it is the 14th anniversary of the Eat Jamaican campaign. We launched a campaign, the JS, in collaboration with the ministry in 2003. And it has been a game-changing campaign. Oh, you oh, know, because it has saved the Jamaican economy somewhere in the region of 540 million US dollars. Oh. Before the campaign was launched, we were increasing our imports of food by a weighted average of 100 million US dollars per annum. Wow. After the campaign, 14 years after, that has been decreased to 60 million US dollars per annum. So the campaign has saved the Jamaican economy somewhere in the region of over 500 million US. That is 70 billion Jamaican dollars. We have also increased our domestic crop production from 491,000 metric tons in 2003 to at the end of 2016, a whopping 668,000 metric tons. Neville, it means that the sector has grown by 38% over the period, an average growth rate of 3% per annum. We have become self-sufficient in our poultry, in our pork, in our eggs. This year alone, we're going to produce somewhere in the region of 180 million eggs, up from 162 million. So for this Christmas, all the hams that we are going to need for Christmas, Jamaican pork. All the eggs we need, Jamaican eggs. And we have become self-sufficient in our Irish potatoes. When we launched a campaign, 95% of the Irish potato was imported. Last year, we produced 90% locally. So this campaign has been a game-changing campaign, in my view. Do we, get it to, is, do we get to the stage that we're going to stop importing food? I think we may not, but we will get to the point where a substantial amount of the food that we need, we will um, grow it locally. And what we cannot grow locally, we will increase our export so we can buy. So the whole question of our NIR, the NIR is this strong because of the contribution of the agricultural sector. The sector has also contributed 7.5% to GDP, up from 6.5%. 19% of the labor force, 200,000 Jamaicans are employed, uh, are a part of the, the labor statistics um, as it relates to agriculture. So the agriculture sector has just been game changing. And that is notwithstanding issues to do with Predalas and the six billion a year. We still want to see the improvement of farm roads and improve irrigations, um, etc. So we want to celebrate and commend the farmers of Jamaica. Yeah, man. Maisie, where are you yeah. We started by heating vegetable oil yes. and then we use it to saute the strong flavored seasonings. Eh? Yeah. We say the aromatics, the scallion from St. Elizabeth and the people in St. Andrew, we can't leave them out, you know, we use scallion from there too. We use some onion, some garlic and we will add some thyme. Then we use the chicken breast and debone de it and cut it in bite-sized pieces. Mm -hmm. How long that going to take now? This will, this will cook in at most 10 minutes. 10 mm -hmm. minutes. 
Alright. But we and we're doing we're stirring as we go we go and in no time dinner will be ready. Okay, great. Dinner. I like it. Or lunch, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, so Saturday, November 22. Tell me what will happen exactly. Well, there's going to be a lot of exposition by the farmers. We have the 4-H, we have RADA, the Ministry of Agriculture, the tourism um, sector, and other sector players will be in. There will be a farmer's market, so if you want fresh agricultural produce, you can come out and, uh, and get those fresh agricultural produce. Is there a cost the, to the public? Um, no. The entrance is free, but what you come in, and, and you'll you have can to, buy you can buy, but you can also taste because we'll have chefs like Maisie that will be doing, you know, a lot of Jamaican food. So you will get an opportunity there to, 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 to taste. Okay. The Minister of Agriculture will lead a tour um, at 10 o'clock after the official ceremony. And it will just be information and sharing and just promoting the consumption of the Jamaican food, local food, local food, yeah. and, and the work of our farmers. I said at the start about this banana that you can do all kinds of stuff. Help me out. What else we can do apart from just peel it and boil it? And well, uh, you, uh, since you, you spoke to, to, to peeling, one of the beauty about this variety of green bananas, that is a fair variety, is that it has less stain, less stain on your hands than so on. So it's easier to peel. It's easier to peel, you know and the, the, the ratio of, of, of edible portion is higher. You know, so you have more, less peel loss. Oh, right? great, right. great. Right, and, and one of the yeah. things I really like about it is that it cooks in, it's, it cooks in 10 minutes. From the water is boiling and you, put, and you, and you immerse it in, it counts, check for 10 minutes. Okay, right. okay. where are you reach now with the chicken now? So the chicken, the chicken breast is cooked, and at this point we are going to add Again, continue with the range, carrots from the farmer. Here we have string beans, string beans. We have, we are adding some, some peppers, some green peppers. And we are adding bananas that we boil ahead of time. Okay, mm -hmm. okay, okay. So what, what is this right here? The banana porridge? We pie? made some banana porridge. You know, we couldn't come to we, we couldn't come to share just one dish as we're doing the, the farmer's dinner using so it's a banana and the chicken cook up. Yeah. You know, um, but we ahead of time we we start we did a pot of of, of cornmeal of, of sorry banana. of banana porridge. Right, yeah. And if you so wish, you can do a mix of the banana and cornmeal. Then we did a, a casserole, making a, we did a cheese sauce, and and then we and and, and fold the, the, okay. the boiled bananas in this. I know you're a big chef, but me and Sim did make a porridge the other day. Oh, I won't look like any better than that today. Well, you know, I mean, understand, you know, I mean, I mean, I, I know you are the best, you know, Thank and, you and the much. world knows that, yeah. you know, and right? Uh, so I could learn a thing or two from you. Simone tried her best to spoil you know? it, but that even she could have spoiled it. Mm -hmm. Senator, you get the final word. When and where again, sir, and what yes. will happen, what time? <laughs> well, it, it starts, it is at the Jamaica Forage Club's mm -hmm. um, grounds. It is on uh, Wednesday, November 22nd, which is this Wednesday. Yep. Um, we open to the public at 8 o'clock and we go through... 8 a.m. 8 a.m. Yep. and we go through to 4. Okay. No charge to the public. Um, the exhibitors, you, come, you, buy you come, you buy some foods. It starts at um, 6 o'clock for the exhibitors and it is a big... Um, occasion about grow what we eat, eat what we grow, supporting the farmers. And we are going to be mounting this campaign up to Christmas. And while we celebrate the month and the day, the whole question of Eat Jamaican is an everyday activity that okay. we'll be intensifying. Thanks, Auntie Maisie, great Thanks to for see having you. us. Mm, great to see you President too. of the Jamaica Agricultural Society, Senator Norman Grant, and Executive Chef uh, Maisie Miller. Soon come.